Hello everyone, I'm Julian Morris with the Channel 5 News. In the headlines, Dominica supports China's position on UN Security Council reform as both countries celebrate 15 years of diplomatic relations. Discover Dominica Authority recognizes outstanding contribution to Dominica's success, the success of this year's carnival. And Dominica joins the rest of the world in celebrating Met Day on Saturday. The details of the news coming up. Imagine. You have Hollywood at your command. Introducing Flow Evil. Rip cheese, gold rings, all black, everything creeping through the night. Anywhere you are. Big girls don't scream hard like Halloween, make me feel alive. There's a world of entertainment here, and you run the show. Flow Evil. Here are some tips to reduce mosquito presence in and around your home. Keep water storage containers properly covered. Remove containers that can collect water from your surroundings. Keep garbage bins tightly covered. Pick up your litter and remove all tires from your yard. Keep gutters free of leaves and twigs to prevent stagnant water. Prevent Zika, Dengue and Chikungunya. Fight the bite! This is a public service announcement from the Dominica Red Cross. This message is supported by Flo. Three individuals have received inaugural awards from Discover Dominica Authority for their contribution to Mass Dominic 2019. Here is Andrea Louis with a report. This formed part of the Carnival Awards ceremony on Friday. Jordan Jerome, a graphic artist and videographer, is also involved in the art of drama and has won the 2015 NCCU Amateur Photographer and Videographer Competition and on Friday was awarded for exceptional photography during this year's Carnival celebrations. For Mass Dominic 2019, Jordan was able to capture all events and activities in real time, which ensured that persons were kept abreast with Dominica's Carnival through those photographs. Today, the Discover Dominica Authority awards Jordan Jerome with the award for exceptional photography for Mass Dominic 2019. Norris Francois Jr. is a filmmaker, photographer, and editor whose projects range from weddings to local adventure films. He also won the 2018 Dominica Film Challenge along with his employer, Sheldon Casimi, and this year won the Exceptional Videographer Award. Francois aspires to elevate his profile by engaging more regional and international clientele. Norris was supported by his employer at Unite, Sheldon Kazimi, and Quicklink Productions' Nixon George in shooting footage needed for Carnival. And Norris toiled throughout the night on Carnival Tuesday into Ash Wednesday to produce the Carnival 2019 video production that we all saw. Today, the Discover Dominica Authority awards Norris Faswa Jr with the award for exceptional videography for Mass Dominique 2019. Krishna Dada Lawrence was awarded for the preservation of Buyo music, having worked with local and regional artists across several genres of music. His latest success comes with the hit Buyo Soka song, Family. The song has received and continues to receive massive international and mainstream recognition, winning the coveted road match title of Trinidad and Tobago, which was the icing on the cake to a very successful 2019 carnival for all involved. The Discover Dominica Authority recognizes your outstanding contribution and achievement to the growth and development of our Creole music. We salute and honor you on this occasion. Also at Friday's ceremony, Triple K International received their prize for winning the first ever People's Choice Buyo Road March. Winners of the Miss Dominica pageant and various street parades for Mass Dominique 2019 also received their prizes on Friday. Andrea Louis, Channel 5 News. Dominica has recognized a remarkable increase in ferry visitors for Mass Dominique 2019. Minister for Tourism and Culture Robert Tong says while data is still being collated, his ministry is happy to report a significant increase in tourists via ferry over the previous year. So before Carnival on Thursday, we had 391 persons coming to the, um, to the ferry terminal. I said Thursday, right? On Friday, we had 578 people coming to the ferry. On Saturday, we had 614 people coming to the ferry. 
And on the Sunday again, when you think it's, it's quiet, we still had 431 people come into the um, ferry terminal. So I dare say my team has done an excellent job, and all the persons who've been promoting Dominica with pictures, it has made a huge difference. And at Friday to Monday, we, in 2017, we had 793 people come in between Friday to Monday. In 2018, because of the hurricane, it dropped slightly to 768 people. But guess what? In 2019, guess how many people we got? We got um, 1,762 people. That's a 122% increase over the period time. Tong applauded all stakeholders for their role in ensuring Dominica was promoted to the world to realize an overall increase in visitors. As I said, we can't do it by ourselves. And if you look at the full period of Carnival, um, 2017, we got 1,610 people. And sorry, this is just visitors. So a lot of times people say, let us, let us move out the, um, the locals. So we're looking at pure visitors to show you um, what all of you have allowed us to achieve. So 2017, we had 1,610 people. In 2018, we had 1,109. As you can imagine, we had just come through um, um, Maria. So obviously, as many visitors didn't come, they saw all the images of the, of the damage. So many of them were scared. But again, because of all of the wonderful images that you guys have shared, and all of you having fun, the powder fets, the, the water fets, and I mean, you can just imagine, based on what you saw this year, how much better it's going to be next year. So in 2019, we had 2,723 visitors, an increase of 146%. Mass Dominic 2019 ran from the 19th of January to 6th of March under the theme, A Sizzling Explosion. Prime Minister Skerit has told China's ambassador to Dominica, His Excellency Lu Kun, this week that Dominica has benefited tremendously from the last 15 years of diplomatic relations with the People's Republic of China. A reception was held at the Goodwill Parish Hall on Tuesday in celebration of the 15th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations between the two countries since 2004. And every sphere of our society, every sector in our society, has benefited directly from that relationship over the last 15 years. And if one were to extract the investments which China has made to us, we would not have been as far as we are in our nation's development. And I remember very clearly how instrumental China was in assisting our country, especially during our stabilization program. The restructuring program which we had with the IMF from 2002 all the way to 2006. And China was able to provide us with direct financial support to help cushion the impact on the citizenry of our country. As a matter of fact, I will say here publicly that one country promised to provide us with resources to meet the commitment to public officers, those whom we had to lay off. And months passed, and a year passed, and we got none of this assistance from this country. But China stepped in and provided Dominica with the resources, and we were able to pay the public servants on time in respect to the compensation. Another major benefit of uh, Chinese uh, Dominica relations is the new hospital, the first phase of which will be handed over to government in a few weeks. For us in the government, that project is very, very dear to everyone's heart and everyone's home. Because health and healthcare transcends every single family in our country. And the vision there and the mission of the government is to ensure that we can have not only the physical infrastructure that meets the international standards insofar as a healthcare facility is concerned, but the equipment at the hospital would be top-notch equipment. And in an effort to eliminate or reduce the need for our citizens, to have to travel to neighboring countries to seek medical intervention. And we look, Excellency, with great excitement for the month of May, 
of 2019, when your government will hand over to the government and people of Dominica the first phase of the Dominica China Friendship Hospital. And Dominica will join the rest of the world on Saturday in observance of World Met Day. We go again to Andrea Louis for a report. Each year on 23rd March, Dominica joins the World Meteorological Organization, WMO, and its 191 members in recognizing World Meteorological Day, WMD, taking time out to highlight the importance of meteorology. Middle-level meteorological technician with the Dominica Meteorological Services, DMS, Faber Rock Carrell, says it is important that Caribbean people be aware of the significance of meteorology throughout the year and not just during the hurricane season. I would really love, out of the hurricane season, and even in the hurricane season as well, that um, we take more responsibility for finding information. We are there to give the information, we, pro we provide the information, we have a website www.weather.gov.dm. We also have a Facebook as well where we take some of the information from the website and put it on there. Three times a day the forecast is updated. So we are making ourselves present on the social media. The Dominica Med Service was present at an exhibition organized by Doasco to recognize World Water Day on Friday. Career says the DMS will be expanding its services to produce hydromet products. Um, soon the Dominica Med Service will actually not just be a med service but will be a hydromet service. Meaning, yes, we will be providing hydrometeorological products. We have already started doing um, river measurements and so forth and we hope to expand with the completion or the fulfillment of the disaster vulnerability reduction um, program. So we, we, we have worked with Doasco, we will continue to work with Doasco. So Doasco is essentially a partner to us now. WMD has been recognized globally for 69 years. This is Dominica's 39th observance of the day as the country joined the WMO in 1980. Forecaster and Met Assistant with the DMS, Viola Pascal, says strides have been made in weather forecasting over the years. Certainly, um, forecasting and meteorology on a whole has evolved has grown over the years and one of the main factor for that is um, improvement in the technology that we use better access to better technology so for example um, there has been improvement in the, some of the tools that we use in our forecasting such as, as access to higher resolution such like images that help us to determine how systems are developing and likely to move we have better access to other tools such as radar imagery which is important in determining rainfall intensity and amounts we also have um, access to um, better communication, how we send out information to the public as well as how the public can access information, and in particular, social media. We just want to ask people to use social media in a responsible way and you know, access information from the designated authorities. This year's WMD is being held under the theme, The Sun, the Earth, and the Weather. The theme recognizes the importance of the sun's influence on the earth and weather, and hence water. Andrea Louis, Channel 5 News. The company in charge of uh, building the Pidit Savan resettlement at Belleville Chopin currently has five sites under development on the east of the country. Each of these sites are expected to provide 66 residences. They are in Castle Bruce, Saint Sauveur, Grand Fall. La Plaine and Delis. In Castle Bruce and La Plaine, we, the first buildings will be ready for occupation in June of this year, uh, which is 33 residences in each one. And about six weeks after that, so we're looking middle August, though those two sites will be completely finished. Grand Fond, the first building, we are confident people will be able to move in at the end of June and September in the second building and San Sever and Delices will be ready for occupation end of November. We are presently going ahead and we are well on with the works in Cotton Hill in Portsmouth and Georgetown in Cotton Hill and they are both 68 residences and they are of the Bellevue Chopin type rather than the East Coast type. And Georgetown we will have the first 24 uh, residences there ready on the 15th of June this year and again with a, a Cotton Hill the first residences will be ready in August and then at the moment 
We're reasonably confident in forecasting November for final completion of both sites. Of course, and then going ahead, we are, and we will be going public announcement very soon, we are looking for a lot more stuff. But we have actually started clearing site in Grand Bay today for the Nurse Charles housing development, providing more residences down there. Timmin says work on the Roseau City Square is due to commence within the next six to eight weeks. He says having to import a lot of the building materials required for all these housing projects can prove challenging. And it's difficult to face Dominica, which is the difficulty in being able to obtain materials. Everything, everything is difficult. When you're building on this scale, everything we're bringing in is imported. And just the time scales we have to think of, we're all constantly having to think six months ahead when watering materials because our materials are coming from all over the world. They're not available in the local market and certainly not in the quantities we want. So in terms of planning, we have to be much more precise, and much more detailed in making sure the contractors are getting the materials they need when they're on time. You are watching Channel 5 News. We'll have more after the break. Imagine. You have Hollywood at your command. Introducing Flow Evil. Rip cheese, gold rings, all black, everything creeping through the night. Anywhere you are. Big girls don't scream hard like Halloween, make me feel alive. There's a world of entertainment here, and you run the show. Flow Evil. Lani Sing to Patu. Attention si vous êtes nom et bien fan. Visitez Place Santé pour examiner le corps. Ça, c'est un nid pour vous voir si vous avez pièce de monde au Lyon qui a une maladie TB et une maladie sexuelle. En compagnie de monde qui a une maladie HIV, il y a une TB aussi. Savez qui Il y a une guérison pour TB. Ou ça vivre en bonne santé même si vous avez une maladie HIV. Parlez avec le docteur. Point de responsabilité. Aidez du bout de la maladie TB et HIV. Ou agez tout le monde pour examiner le corps. Dominica throws its support behind China's efforts to influence reforms in the operations of the UN Security Council. The objective of the Security Council reform is to enable it to better discharge its responsibility for maintaining international peace and security conferred by the Charter of the United Nations. Priority should be given to address the underrepresentation of the developing countries. Membership of the Council should not be judged by the benchmark of national wealth. We support the Chinese position in respect to the UN security reform mechanism. Because we believe that which has been offered by China will address the concerns which non-Security Council members have in respect to the democratization of the UN system and making it more relevant, more relevant to small island states with very small voices. And so we'll continue to work together with the government of China in our efforts to have the UN reform in terms of its whole operations and management. Speaking at Tuesday's reception, marking 15 years of diplomatic relations with China, Prime Minister Skert recommitted to the One China policy and emphasized the importance of solid leadership in this current global climate. Leadership in the 21st century must be determined, it must be focused, and it must have the knowledge of the international community and the current geopolitical circumstance. We cannot waver. We cannot flip-flop. We have to stand firm, irrespective of who is opposed to our position. Our interest is Dominica's interest, and we must always defend what is in the best interest of our country, irrespective of whom we are speaking to or who is speaking to us. And the White House said earlier this week President Trump wants to work with Caribbean leaders to counter what they call China's predatory economic practices. The Caribbean region has been the recipient of major investment from China. Trump met with leaders from the Bahamas, Dominican Republic, Haiti, Jamaica and St. Lucia at his private club in Palm Beach, Florida on Friday. The Caribbean region has long relied on oil and gas from Venezuela, which offered cheap financing through a program called Petro Caribe. But shipments have declined in recent years because of production problems at Venezuela's state-owned oil company PDVSA.
One Caribbean energy expert says CARICOM is the body that speaks for energy sustainability in the region. But if you start dividing the states, as apparently an attempt is being made to do, then you, in a sense, almost sabotage from the very beginning that unity that is necessary. News from MSNBC suggests that there is much more behind efforts to remove Maduro from office than is being reported. One former acting FBI director, while discussing his book on MSNBC, said they were deeply concerned about revelations regarding President Trump's motivation for removing President Maduro from office. The next passage down in the book has been, I think, ignored just by about everyone who's talked to you about it. The president says to the briefer, that he wants to have a war with Venezuela, and this is in 2017. Yeah, the, pres <clears throat> the president's remarks to the room are along the lines of, I don't understand why we're not looking at Venezuela, why are we not at war with Venezuela, they have all the oil, and they're right on our back door. These were comments that caused us uh, deep concern. Imagine. You have Hollywood at your command. Introducing Flow Evil. Red cheese, gold rings, all black, everything creeping through the night. Anywhere you are. Big girls don't scream hard like Halloween, make me feel alive. There's a world of entertainment here, and you run the show. Flow Evil. Here are some tips to reduce mosquito presence in and around your home. Keep water storage containers properly covered. Remove containers that can collect water from your surroundings. Keep garbage bins tightly covered. Pick up your litter and remove all tires from your yard. Keep gutters free of leaves and twigs to prevent stagnant water. Prevent Zika, Dengue and Chikungunya. Fight the bite! This is a public service announcement from the Dominica Red Cross. This message is supported by Flo. To end the news, a look again at the headlines. Dominica supports China's position on UN Security Council reform as both countries celebrate 15 years of diplomatic relations. Discover Dominica Authority recognizes outstanding contribution by Dominicans to the success of this year's carnival. And Dominica joins the rest of the world on Saturday in observance of World Met Day. Feel free to contact us at news at mapping2k4.com. You may access our past newscasts on our YouTube channel. On behalf of the production team, I am Julian Morris. Thank you for watching. Have a good weekend.